Hello, my students. This is teacher Selva Ayad from Al Umami Creative Schools. Today, inshallah, we're going to start a new subject, which is the future with will. This is unit number seven, pages 53 and 54 in your class box. So, my little students, the first question that you're going to ask is, when do we use well? The first use of the verb well is with promises, as in this picture. In this picture, we have a man and we have his wife. This man promises his wife that he will love her forever. And he says, I will love you forever. We call this sentence a promise. So, the first use of the verb well is with promises. And the second use of the verb well is with offers. So, in this picture, we have a boy with his father. The boy offers a part of his sandwich to his father. And he says, I will give you a part of my sandwich. So, he's offering something to his father. And this is the second use of the verb well. And the third use of the verb well is with predictions. If you want to know what I mean by prediction, then you have to watch the following story. This man is looking at the sky. He said that the sky is cloudy. Then he said, it will rain. So this man made a prediction. He predicted that it will rain. So to predict something means to think and believe that something will happen in the future. And you can use well to talk about this prediction. So my little students, after knowing when to use the verb will, what you have to know now is how to form will sentences. We have three forms of will sentences. The first one is the positive form. In the positive form, what you have to do is to use the subject plus the verb will plus the verb in its space form. You can't add anything to this verb. For example, Yahya will leave. Look at this sentence. Yahya is the subject, then we have the verb well, then we have the verb in its space form. The second form is the negative sentence. So in this form, what you have to do is just to add not to the verb well. The subject plus will not plus the base verb. So this is the only change in this sentence. You have to add not to the verb will. So if you want to make this sentence in its negative sentence, what you have to do is just to add not to the verb will and the sentence becomes Yahya will not leave. The last form of this sentence is the question. If you want to make a question, what you have to do is just to move well to the beginning of the sentence. And you will have this form. Well plus the subject plus the base form. And you have to add a question mark at the end of the question. If you want to make this sentence in its a question form, what you have to do is to move will to the beginning of the sentence will Yahya leave now if you want to answer this question you have to use yes or no yes he will or no he will not and you can change this subjective pronoun with one of these subjective pronouns according to the one who you are asking about. But if you want to use you, then you have to answer with I. 
For example, if the sentence was, Will you leave? Then you have to say, Yes, I will, or no, I will not, because I'm asking you. So, you have to answer with your pronoun, which is I. Yes, I will, or no, I will not. Now we have some contractions. Do you know what we mean by contraction? Contraction is to make something smaller. So, for example, if you want to make will not smaller, what you have to do is to create a new word that has the same meaning. Will not becomes want. So, what about I will? I will becomes I'll. He will becomes he'll and will not becomes want. And to make it easier to you, I prepared an example of each form of well sentences. The first example, I will speak. The negative form of this example is I will not speak. And the question form is will I speak? Number two, he will play. He will not play. Will he play? She will travel. She will not travel. Will she travel? They will study. They will not study. Will they study? We will eat. We will not eat. Will we eat? It will come. It will not come. Will it come? And the last example is you will go, you will not go, and will you go? Now let's talk about the time markers of this tense, which is the future tense. If you've seen one of these time markers, then you have to use the verb well. They are in a month's time, in two weeks' time, next week, on Monday, this evening, tomorrow, soon, and later. Now, let's practice what we've learned about will and want. Please open your class box Page 53, Unit 7, Lesson number 2, Grammar 1, Exercise number 3. So guys, in this exercise, what I want from you is to write well or want in the planks, as in the first example. You have to look at the picture and imagine what will happen in the future. If the thing may happen, then you will use will. And if the thing may not happen, then you have to use want, according to the meaning of each one of these sentences. I'll give you one minute to answer the question, then I'll give you the correct answers.
So my students, these are the correct answers of this question. I hope that you have the same answers in your box. That was everything for today. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon, inshallah.